Hello, hi, uh, Namaskara, and uh, hello everyone. Uh, hopefully, you will be able to correct the correct answer. And uh, I will be speaking a mix of Kannada and English. Um, okay. and when the questions are in English, I will answer in English. When the questions are in Kannada, I will answer in Kannada. ಕನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ okay uh, one sec where is the chat facility on this uh, oh yeah got it yeah so uh, okay now i shall will uh, hi hi everyone mm. um so how do i change this view to okay so one uh, i'll give a small uh, um in sort of a uh shorter talk so that you we all fall on the same page before we continue and then you all can start uh, asking questions or you know uh, talking whatever so uh, first thing i think the session the reason for me to come and do this session was that little post that i put up um, and i don't know how many of you have read it so i'll go back to mentioning what it was um, about uh, 21 years ago i was a 20 year old boy and uh, um, i had very similar zone that you all must be in uh, which is not knowing how to you know make it in the in the career of storytelling which involves both theater and films or any other uh, medium where you want to express yourself so mine was theater back then and uh, i was someone who got introduced to um, to theater and uh, i was very very keen on becoming an actor and i didn't know where to go i come from a family which is completely disconnected from anything uh, like this guys everybody i don't know if i have a mute all option here uh, is there a mute all option yeah i'll try that yeah okay um, let everyone turn on their microphone okay i'm keeping this option uh, but in case uh, anybody wants to ask once we open up the question forum you can type in or i think there is some um there's some option to put in a raise your arm thing okay it's been a while since i did this so uh yeah uh, one of the reasons uh, uh, one thing that i kept doing was because i did not uh, there were no film schools there were no acting schools i mean i was not even interested in films back then i was only interested in theater and acting the acting on stage in fact so uh, and i had quit engineering so parents were not very supportive of what i wanted to do and um, it was a very lost Uh, sort of a zone so i was constantly depending on people i could connect like somebody's friend uh, somebody's friend's friend who works in some VF- vfx department and that would be my closest connection to films or anything um, okay so yeah and um, that being the case it helped somebody would give me some other contact and then i would go talk to them so it was it took me many months and years just to get somewhere so i'm hopefully thinking that this sort of a session which i might do a couple of times going forward will have you you know kind of give you an insight because it's 21 years of my journey uh, in 2002 i quit college and i was completely um, uh, uh, lost and today i think considering all of you want to hear from me there has been some journey and i can share some of those things so yeah now um, how do we start um, um, before again before you all uh, ask me anything um one of the things that happens in this industry that you should know is it's very chaotic it's not like any other industry where you probably have a little route map where you finish your engineering or you when you finish your medicine and then you go to pg or you go to an masters in a particular subject and there is a sort of a step by step progression which you generally think is is the zone to be and you'll work for 3 4 years then you'll understand more things there is a pay especially when you work there is a pay but sadly in our industry that that never happens so you'll be working for many many years without any pay and uh, though 21 years have passed i've seen that the case is is very much the same even now um 
is everyone hearing me is okay was there a network disconnect or something i guess so yes your yeah, voice yeah. is breaking is it back now uh, i'm hoping so i'm in uh, now it's yeah, I'm in a sort of a it's village. little better now yeah let me just give me a second Yeah, I'll try. I'm I'm actually in my farm, which is like secluded. So I'll try to. I'm doing this over uh, my data, internet. I mean, mobile thing. Okay, so uh, so yeah, I'll just two people have raised their hand. I'll just go with one person. How do how do I get them to do that? Um, okay, anybody can unmute, right? Um, yeah yeah okay so one person i think i can see someone called the first name i'm seeing is lokesh kaza so i think i'll pull out names so then you unmute yourself and you can ask your question so i think lokesh kaza can you unmute yourself yeah yeah so then uh, let me pick people so that they know i asked everybody so they don't go to the answer yeah can you hear me yes i can go ahead Yeah. So my so I'm I'm a filmmaker from Hyderabad. I'm working as an AD in the industry. Mm -hmm. My question is uh, basically, what is the best way to go about finding collaborators that you want to work with? Okay. So to find collaborators, uh, I think you got to first start uh, if you're only into filmmaking. So I'll take a little step back and tell you what happened with me, and then maybe you can see if it works. So because I came from theater, and theater is a medium which allows you to experiment and do your creative work. with very less money like unlike movies you're not really depending on so many resources so hence uh, for me because i got into theater i was uh, work doing an workshop and then i associated myself with a group so then you're with a bunch of people who are probably ad filmmakers or who are actors or who says that hey i know someone who's a short filmmaker so this was my journey so um, i did a i started doing storytelling and all that using theater i mean like i said i didn't think i'll get into films so that being my domain i started randomly meeting these guys somebody would say he's a ad filmmaker you know that was my closest connect to filmmaking so these contacts slowly become your friends or slowly become these colleagues with whom you would have done one or two projects so they will grow with you in fact uh, for example i did my play last week and the guy who was doing lights is the same guy who did back in 2005 uh, the guy who did sound he didn't do it for this show but is a is a person with whom i have worked since year 2000 so collaborations happen like this uh wherein you start creating little work and today's time things have changed for me back then there were no cell phones there was no camera getting your hands on a simple camera was difficult but today since you have camera since you have youtube since you have like millions of tools that you can use all you have to first do is showcase that you have something in you to tell a story uh and it's very easy to do things alone i mean i could do things alone which is shoot edit put music take an output everything back in 2004 and 2005 with really very obsolete equipment right so today you have much better tools so once people know that hey this guy can tell a story uh once people and today it's very easy to showcase like one of the amazing example is i don't know if this guy is on this uh, one there is a vfx guy who made some reel you know and uh, it happened to come up on my instagram i saw it and i thought it was really cool and i just sent him a text saying hey good work really liked it and then i see that he's tried contacting me for the last 4 5 years you know and it it showed up in the chat but i had never seen that thing uh, but his work made me go and text him and only then i could see that hey this person has tried contacting me um so this is what is the best way to go forward you know where you do things today and grab the attention and if your work is really good the industry people will take notice and they will they will call you one of the best things is how we got chetan who's a who's a stunt choreographer today and who's uh, who's really big uh, you know he's working in all big movies right now but in 2015 he just sent me a link uh, when i was doing u turn canada he sent me a link of him and his brother doing stunt choreography for fun 
and he had put it up on youtube and i happened to see it and i called him and he started his filmmaking career as a as a stunt choreographer fight choreographer in uton and today he's got a big career going for him so it's just creating your work and presenting it i hope that answers next go to thank you thank you man so i'm just looking at name uh, mayur kadi kadi uh, mayur uh, i see your I, hand up hello. yeah hi so the rest of you keep it muted like after mayur again i'll pick somebody and we can talk uh so so hi i am mayur from uh, darwad mm-hmm. uh currently uh, we are in the stage of uh, have uh, completed the feature film you know like the production of the feature film uh going on to the post production i mean it is in the post production stages and looking at the trends at how how the industry is operating and you know like how the business and other aspects are operating uh munche like there was this uh you know like there was a setup of arranging a show for the distributors and you know like show them Uh, your work and if if it is uh, like by uh, you know like someone uh, from the industry from the set of distributors then your movie uh, would get you know like a bigger release or else uh, release that that was suitable for the content it had yeah. but at pres- you know like uh, we are in this stage i mean i i just feel ki we are in this stage uh, where uh, even good content or else content with newcomers uh, are are on the verge of uh, getting uh, lost or else yeah. you know like so mayur i'll just uh, i'll just condense your question because i think i'm figuring what you're saying and since there are so many people to ask i think you're saying how to get uh, eyeballs on your whatever you have done and how to uh, you know get it out to the audience now what yeah. i would say is it's a uh, it's a battle everyone's fighting it's not just your battle it's not a new beginner first filmmakers battle anymore it's the battle of even veteran filmmakers uh, so the market is constantly changing right now uh, the options have changed uh, people have a hundred options the business dynamics are evolving so it's not a great time for anyone to say this process works yes i mean i myself i'm telling you is very tricky so if i'm thinking of hey let me produce some film or let me make a film on my own it is very confusing at this point to see how do we put this out because uh the 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 box office results the the pre sales everything is is changed a lot so i would say right now it is in that zone where it's really random it's like a lottery ticket uh thing you know it 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 suddenly works for somebody and it's not working for someone it it really also is in mattering whether you've made a great film or you've made a terrible film um it is quite random at this point so i would say you have to find your own um uh, uh, what works for you and if you're really lucky because i i can look back at my journey and say that what we did with lucia or uton or now with dhumam it all just had to fall in a certain place something worked something didn't work but we had to find there is no template that it will work um so in terms of if anybody has questions about how to release a film this is my one answer so that you don't ask me this question again um that it's it's like we are all in the blind zone at this point everybody is you can talk to any veteran producer they are all wondering how to deal with the new dynamics of distribution so i would say keep that part of the 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 whole um, thing aside and let's talk about the craft let's talk about collaborations let's talk about those things if you have already made the film then i don't think i'll be talking about how to distribute and release the film going forward in this session okay so that's that so my your good luck i hope you get the right ways to do it so there is someone called as yeah. arvind a so arvind a you can go ahead and unmute and talk hi sir uh, hi. am i audible yeah i can hear you uh kannada nal maatadbodu maatadi maatadi okay andre naan naan official andre yavude old school agi script writing kalthira youtube inda kalthira um i want to work with collaborator amateur and i don't know in uh, full screenplay develop agide antala i want feedback i want andre feedback beku uh, collaborators beku andre shoot agad hege anta nanage andre a tara community idiya anta gothaagtilla bangalore alli ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಎಲ್ ಕಲ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಒಬ್ರು ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಮೇಕರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಥರ ಸಿನಾರಿಯು ಮುಂಚೆ ಥರ ತುಂಬ ಹುಡುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಹಂಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ 
ಸೊ ಏನಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ನೀವು ಕೊಲಾಬ್ರೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಹುಡುಕಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಾನು ಅದನ್ನೇ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಇರೋ ಡಿವೈಸಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋನ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ಸಣ್ಣದೊಂದು ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ಆಗಲಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ನಿಮಿಷದ್ದು ಆ ಥರದ್ದು ಒಂದು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೋರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಂದ ಏನು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ರಿಯಲಿ ಶೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತೋ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡಿ ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೇ ಟು ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ರೈಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮುಂಚೆ ಥರ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ಕೊಲಾಬ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕಿಂಗಿಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಂ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹವ್ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಜರ್ನಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬ ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂತೆ ಇನ್ಫೋಸಿಸ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದು ಏನು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಟೈ ಅಪ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಯಾವುದೋ ಎಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟುಡಿಯೋಗೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ನಾನು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮದುವೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೆ ನನಗೆ ಎಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಹೇಗೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಬೇಕಿತ್ತು ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಯಾವುದೋ ಪೆಂಟಿಎಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಷಿನ್ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ನನ್ನ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಅವ್ರ ತಂದೆ ಆಗ ಮದುವೆ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ನನಗೆ ಕ್ಯೂರಿಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಏನು ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಹೆವಿ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಏನೋ ಆಗ ಟೇಪಲ್ ಶೂ ಇರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಎಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಮೂರು ತಿಂಗಳು ನಾನು ಬರೀ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಮದುವೆಗಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಲೈವ್ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಲೈವ್ ಎಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆ ಒಂದು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ವಿಡ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ನೀವು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ಕಳಿತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಬರೀ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೋ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನೋಡಿ ಕಲಿಯೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಯೋರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈವ್ ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ಸಿಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಸಿ ದಮ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಮಷೀನ್ ಸಿ ದಮ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದು ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಬರೋ ಅಂಥ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸೇ ಬೇರೆ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರೇಜಿ ಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯಾರೋ ಏನೋ ಫೋಟೋ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾನು ತಿಂಡಿ ತಂದು ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದು ಬೇಕಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಅದನ್ನು ಫ್ರೀ ಆಗಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗಿರ್ತೀರಾ ನೋಡ್ತಿರ್ತೀರಾ ಏನೋ ಕಲಿತೀರಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸತಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಮನೇಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ನೋಡಿ ಕಲಿಯೋದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ಒಂದು ಸೀನನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವ ಥರ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾಗ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ರೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತೀರಾ ಅಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಸೌಂಡನ್ನ ಅಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಕೆಯಾಸ್ನ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೇಗೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೇ ಕಲಿಯೋಕ್ಕಾಗೋದು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಎನಿ ಕೊಲಾಬ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಡು ಜಂಪ್ ಇನ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಫ್ರೀ ಟೈಮ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಫುಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಥರ ವಾಲಂಟಿಯರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಏನು ಅಥವಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಬರೀ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಹೊತ್ತು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆ ಥರ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸತಿ ತುಂಬ ಜನ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಈಗ ಟೆಂತ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಗೆ ಹೋದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ಜನಕ್ಕೆ ಪೇ ಮಾಡೋಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡು ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ
ಸೊ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಯಾರೋ ಒಂದು ಐದು ಜನ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತೀರಾ ಈಗ ನಾನು ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಐ ಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮೈ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ನಾನು ಪೆಸೆಟಲ್ಲಿ ಓದ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಆಗ ನ ಏನಾಯಿತು ಅಂದರೆ ನಾನು ಪೆಸೆಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಆ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಪಿ ಯು ಇಂದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ ಒಂದು ನಾಲ್ಕೈದು ತಿಂಗಳು ರಜಾ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಆಗ ತುಂಬ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ ವರ್ಕ್ಶಾಪ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗಿಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಏನು ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಕಂಡು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸಿಗೆ ಓ ಇವನ್ ಇವನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಈ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇದೇನೋ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇದೊಂದು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಆ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಸ್ಟನ್ನ ನೀವು ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ತಾನಾಗಿ ತಾನೇ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಫೇತ್ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣದ ಒಂದು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ದಿನ ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ಸೆಡ್ ತುಂಬ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾರೂ ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ನಟರು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಕಾಪಿ ರೈಟೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ಕೇ ತೊಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಬರೀ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ನಿಮ್ದು ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಎಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮ್ಗೆ ಪ್ಲೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೊಂದು ಸಬ್ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಹುಟ್ಟತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ದಟ್ ನೀವು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅದೊಂದು ಫೀಲ್ ಆದರೆ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಇಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಸತಿ ಏನು ಅಂದರೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಆ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಅವ್ರೊಂದು ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಥರ ನೋಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಟು ದೆಮ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಆವಾಗ ಈ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪಡಿ ನಾನು ಈ ಥರದ್ದು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಐದು ನಿಮಿಷದ್ದು ಮೂರು ನಿಮಿಷದ್ದು ಯಾರು ನಟರು ಇರ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಒಂಥರ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಥರ ಅಥವಾ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಥಾಟ್ ಕನ್ವೆ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಥರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನು ಒಬ್ಬನೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ಜನ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇದು ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಅವ್ರು ನನಗೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ರು ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ಲೂಸಿಯಾ ಅವಾಗ ಅವ್ರು ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದ ಒಂದು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ನಾನು ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಒಬ್ಬರೇ ನಟರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಆಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ಬಟ್ ಅದು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ನನಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಅವಾಗ ಅನಿಸಿದ್ದಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಹೇ ಇವರೇನೋ ಮಾಡಿದಾರಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅಂತ ಅನಿಸಿತ್ತು ಅವಾಗ ರಕ್ಷಿತ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಗಾಯ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವರು ಒಂದು ಬೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಓಡಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ನೋ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವ್ರ ಹತ್ರ ಆಗೇನಿತ್ತು ತೋರಿಸೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಥರದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅವರೊಬ್ಬರೇ ಅದನ್ನೇ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಶೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಂತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಒಂದು ನಂಬಿಕೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಟೀಮ್ ಮೇಟ್ಸಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಬರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸಮ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ನನಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿಧಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಬಂತು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೈ ಜರ್ನಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹರೀಶ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಇದೀರಾ ಹರೀಶ್ ಸತ್ಯ ಅಥವಾ ನಂದನ್ ನರಸಿಂಹಯ್ಯ ನೀವು ನೀವು ಬೇಕಿದ್ರೆ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ನಂದನ್ ನರಸಿಂಹಯ್ಯ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಲೋ ಸರ್ ಯಾ ಮಾತಾಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಹಲೋ ಎಸ್ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಯಾ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಅಂತ ಯಾ ಸರ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ನಿರಂತರ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ ನಾನು ಸರ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ
the from my uh, um, trainers or what do you call them mentors who were saying that first start from the point where something is disturbing you you know what is it that makes you uh, think about hey what is your conscious thought and and that was that is how it started for us so all my theater works were around how i am feeling about something sometimes i felt something about identity crisis sometimes i felt something about competition about so that became plays and then slowly it moved on to films also so every film that i've made had a very core thought so dhumam came okay. from a space wherein i am a non smoker but i okay. am subjected to a lot of passive smoking uh, uh because of our work and i did not like it and i was wondering hey uh, how does this work you know like uh, you want to smoke you want to get the high but why am i subjected to it and um, so it was it was that thought um, which is how it started and uh, then i kept thinking of what can happen so you, like every artist i think has something deep down and they want to express it different people find different mediums uh, somebody could be uh, you know an artist who paints so they paint and somebody could be a dancer and they express it to dancing so for me it was how do i tell a story which will make people think so so dhumam has gone through like some 10 12 years of rewrite because this was my first thought even before i did my first film uh this line was my first thought and i always wanted to make a film about this so over the years this theme kept growing with me this theme kept changing evolving uh but i realized that i can't make a documentary about it because my idea was that people should watch and they should talk about it they should think about it they should wonder hey okay so he that like planting an idea and then saying that i for me as a storyteller if you watch my film and then you come back and on the way to your home you have a conversation with your friend or you you know just talking to somebody hey this movie was about this or oh, did about vaping is it true you know that's all that's all i want from you i want you to delve into what i'm i'm passing on my disturbance to you so that's been my every film um that it's a personal thought that i want to also engage with you in a conversation and uh, coming to collaborating with me i think i keep putting out uh, whenever i need or whenever i'm in uh, um whenever i want to collaborate they, i put out some info on social media or i keep watching sometimes i see your work and i contact people and say hey do you want to meet and talk so it happens that when also i take a lot of time i don't do projects right one after the other so that's a little ambiguous but but that's how it is so next is yeah. uh, anit kumar uh, move to thanks, anit kumar thanks thanks thank you sir namaste sir namaskar sir odi pinda ah andre nimdu writing process hege irta anta andre ondu idea irthade adannu story ge develop maadi screen play ge hege convert maartara anta matte adralli naavu hege career build maadabodu anta ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಕನ್ನಡ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಗೊತೀನಿ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ದೇ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ಯೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗೋ ಅಹೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಅವಾಗಲೇ ಹೇಳಿದಂಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಬಾದರಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಯಾರ ಜೊತೆ ಆದರೂ ಹಂಚ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಯಾರ ಜೊತೆ ಆದರೂ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಹೀಗೆ ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಒಂದು ತಲೆ ಓಡ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಗೆ ಏನೋ ನನಗೆ ಯೂ ಟರ್ನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಡಬಲ್ ರೋಡ್ ಫ್ಲೈ ಓವರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಓಡಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವಾಗ ಅದು ಹೇ ಅದು ಹೇಗೆ ಒಂದು ಫ್ಲೈ ಓವರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಡೇಂಜರಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಜನ ವೈ ವಿಲ್ ದಿ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಥಾಟಿಂದ ಶುರು ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಬಟ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಗೂ ಹಾಕ್ಬೋದು ಒಂದು ಫೋಟೋ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ಟ್ವೀಟ್ ಆಗೂ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ನೀವು ಇದನ್ನು ಒಂದು ಕತೆ ಥರ ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೋದು ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟರ್ಬೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ನಾನು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸತಿ ಒಂದು ಪೋಸ್ಟಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದೆ ಇಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೇನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ನೀವು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾಲಿ ಹೀಗೆ ಕನ್ವೆ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡ್ತೀರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವಾಗ ಆ ಒಂದು ಹಂಗರ್ ಇರತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ಹಂಚ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಇದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ನ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಅದು ಹೊರಟೋಗತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೂ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಸತಿ ಆ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ನಾನು ಕೂಡ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ರೈಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರೂ ಅದು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಕಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅ
ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟ್ಯಾಗನಿಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ರಚನಾ ಅಂತ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಸಿನಿಮಾನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಅದು ಎಲ್ಲೋ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ನನ್ನ ಯೋಚನೆಗಳನ್ನ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಗೆ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸರಿ ಇದು ಯಾರೋ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂನ ನೋಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಗ ಫ್ಲೈಓವರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಯಾರು ಆವಾಗ ಓ ಅಲ್ಲೊಬ್ಬ ಯಾರೋ ಕೂತಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಅವ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಬರ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ನು ಎಂಥವ್ನು ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅವ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೋಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಂಗೋ ಇದ್ದು ಅಲ್ಲಿನ ಭಿಕ್ಷುಕ ಅಂತ ಆದರೆ ಓ ಇನ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಡ್ರಾಮಾ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂಚೂರು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ನನಗೆ ನಾಟಕಗಳು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದರಿಂದ ನಾಟಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಥರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ನ ನೀವು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀರ ಆ ರಿಹರ್ಸಲ್ಗಳಲ್ಲೇ ಅದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆಯೋ ಇಲ್ವೋ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಯೂ ಟರ್ನ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮುಂಚೆ ಸುಮಾರು ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ನಾಟಕಗಳು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಗರ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಡ್ರಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಟ್ವಿಸ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಥರ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಎ ರೂಲ್ ಎ ರೂಲ್ ಬಿ ರೂಲ್ ಸಿ ಥರ ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೊಂದು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಆಗಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಧಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೆ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸಲ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಮಾಡಿದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಬಂದಿರ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಅವ್ರ ಜರ್ನಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರು ತುಂಬ ಇಂಟ್ರೋವರ್ಟಾಗಿ ಒಬ್ಬರೇ ಒಂದು ತುಂಬ ಸಿನಿಮಾಗಳನ್ನ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೇ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸೊ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಮೋರ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಝೋನಿಗೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಒನ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಅಂತ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸಿಗೆ ಕನ್ವೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಟೂಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪಾಲಿಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸಲ ತುಂಬ ಹತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ವರ್ಷ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗಲೂ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಫೇಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಯು ಥಾಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಆರೆಂಟ್ ತಿಂಗಳಾಯಿತು ಧೂಮಮ್ ರೆಡಿಯಾಗಿ ನನಗೆ ಈಗ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಾನು ಇನ್ನು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿತ್ತೇನೋ ಅಂತ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಐ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ನನಗೆ ಅದು ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಆದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ನಿಧಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದರಿಂದ ದೂರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡಿಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ದ ವೇ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಥರ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ 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 ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಷಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ನೋ ಸೊ ಬ್ಲೂ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅನ್ ಮ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾರಾದರೂ ನೋಡಿ anybody who is going yeah hi uh, i don't know okay okay, okay. <laughs> niket niket patil ke i mean mute everybody is mute uh, uh hello sir yeah. thank you so much for this opportunity uh, it's a privilege being a part of this forum where we get to connect with you u
and i can tell you that our own personal journeys are so complicated our own our own needs to discuss something and the project with this sometimes this process very sadly doesn't happen i have met people who probably have sent me script who script i couldn't read and 3 4 years later it became a blockbuster so that is the way this industry works so niket while i would be really interested in reading i have always tried to put a process where this is possible where somebody can you know send something and we can read but many a times what happens is that we will not have the mental space to read it we will not be in us because i'll be thinking of something of my own story and i'll be narrating something of my own so i'm not saying i won't read yours i will try to again like i said i'll give i mean i've always if you go back to my instagram there is a linktree account i have put a way to contact me and once in a while i go there read what people have written and which whichever i want to tap into i try to pull so also a generic thing for you all to know is that please don't think anybody is here to help you that's not going to happen okay no, every industry person is trying to work on his own career or her career is own trying to do his own project a lot of money is going to be going into those projects so they are 99% of the time trying to resolve their own issues so they will not try to they will not try to help you by saying hey hey niket awesome you spent two years reading writing it now i'm going to shut everything and read i'm just being very very honest when i say this uh, so that you all don't build you know wrong ideas in your mind that if i just speak to pavan or if i just speak to somebody my life will i have done that process i mean forget theater times i have done it probably 2 years ago uh, so we are always so you are probably trying to reach out to me i am trying to reach out to somebody else and that somebody else is trying to reach out to someone else so this is the truth and it never works because each person is really fighting their own battles so what should you do at times like this i think my earlier question somebody i answered collaborate so what ideally a niket should do is or anybody else who is in that zone where you have written something but you are not a director you are not a cinematographer then you find forums like this find people within your zone like something that happened when we were young i'm still young <laughs> is uh, if i go back to 2007 2008 there used to be something called as bangalore rooftop film festival very informal where 30 40 people would meet up on the rooftop and play movies and watch and then have discussions after that now i know how and cut to 20 years later 18 years later 3 4 of them minimum i know who have become filmmakers who i know you know like who's made a feature film who's made feature films which are hit so what i'm saying is go into forums like that anybody niket and everybody else go into forums like that meet somebody who is in the same zone like you are and try one see say because many a times we think that we have done all the research we have read all the awesome screenplay books and story books and we write them but the reality in independent filmmaking low budget filmmaking is 90% of the time you won't be able to achieve what you have written because it's a very expensive medium so what it teaches you then is that how can i go back to my script and change something okay so this is a process that you need to put yourself through and don't depend on me or anyone to read your scripts because like i said if they have put up pro- and what happens also we also go through a lot of this uh, uh, copyright issues so many times i've stopped reading anyone's script because i might have written something 3 years ago and because ideas are always falling you know from the universe into everybody's brains all the time there could be something little similar what you have written and suddenly it becomes like i make a movie out of it you will come back to me and say i had sent you an email and you have copied my idea and so a lot of filmmakers have not stopped reading any script so if somebody tells me hey i want you to read my script i say first go register it in there is something called as screenwriters association so go register your script legally and then you send it to me because what i do as a writer is whenever i have a new idea i put it on a word document and i register it so there is something always to prove to you that hey listen your idea is similar to mine but i had registered it 3 years ago you know so i'm not trying to pick your idea and do a film out of it so nobody wants to deal with this uh, nobody i mean today people can go on social media and try to uh, uh, completely you know insult uh, take you take a take a filmmaker who's popular and say that he copied and media will pick that up it's a mess nobody wants to get into so 
so it's sadly the fact that if you just randomly throw your script at somebody they might not read it so first thing register it and two try a scene so that you're testing what you have written is actually doable or not you will see suddenly that what dialogues you wrote which you have played in your mind which you and your wife your friend or anybody is reading it might be working between you both but when you give it to actors it may not be the same and suddenly you see that hey this is, this scene was so interesting when i wrote but it's looking so boring so test these things today it's very easy to do it shoot it with your mobile phone edit it and just see how it feels and if it really still has the thing then don't worry then go show it to someone or just put it out so the things to reach out has become very easy now uh the thing is you got to do that work of registering your script always register your scripts okay uh anyone else i'll go to uh hi pawan yeah. can i yeah go ahead kere se dia largo kele start ho gaya yeah yeah uh yeah so i just i mean i really don't want to put you on a spot but i just want to know like what's the current like uh, status at least in the kannada industry wherein like say the ott penetration is very less mm-hmm. uh, as an original web series being made is very less mm-hmm. so and like i mean as the times are going to go by the like even the censorship etc it's increasing mm-hmm. so like we usually read comments stating like a film like ande vasanti cannot be made today mm-hmm. or something like which you have done like say leela i think you just directed it you didn't write it Mm. but something like leela can be can be made today mm-hmm. so within that context at least in kfi like what's the state of the industry are makers generally just avoiding all of it or is there still a way for something anti establishment or something which is like you know socio political or it's more going to be like we'll be getting our rom coms we'll be getting our blockbusters etc um uh, i think you yeah, i mean my understanding i'm very young in the uh, whole big canvas of cinema making which is 100 plus years and the business of cinema making i've never made way too much money to even comment about it uh, all i can say is that uh, the audience constantly choose the kind of films they want it is a very simple economics of demand and supply so there is always a bigger audience the audience today make some film a big box office hit they will get similar thoughts in the next coming few years and suddenly they will get bored of it because they have seen too much of it and some guy who's trying something new which could be you uh, suddenly becomes a hit so i encountered something like that with lucia you know so uh, everybody was doing a certain kind of a film everybody so I said hey listen I'm I don't want to do that because that's not something I even know to do I have something I'll struggle I had the energy back then I had the inclination I had I mean I was in that crazy zone to do it so I went and did it and suddenly it worked with a small chunk of audience again when a box office report is taken when a industry validates a film Lucia is not a very big film which is why nobody in KFI came back and ever gave me a film so it's a film that probably you all have seen which will probably you know be relevant for a couple of more years uh but it it is uh it is something uh that it's it's a thing where you know you from deep inside what is pushing you to do do you want to ride the wave that is working then you go join those teams then you go work with them and suddenly you know you you learn how to do those and do it Temp- i mean a template which is working and you may be able to just pull it off or you struggle it's a struggle i'm not at all kidding when i say this i've struggled with all my films and i've gone through the hard times but it didn't seem so hard because we were enjoying the struggles back then our needs were little we were staying in a small room and doing things but it was fun doing it the learning the excitement was great so if you are cut out to do those things then then be on that journey because you never know the audience might not be interested in a 100 crore film but be interested in your 50 lakh film uh because that resonates with something that they are all collectively feeling at that point so it is nobody can ever tell what is going to happen nobody can ever predict uh whatever you are asking me now is the same zone i was in 11 12 years ago but instead of trying to find the answer somewhere i said hey i'm i'm going to have fun with a 5d camera i have a bunch of actors who have no other things to do so they want to come and act in my film then i have an editing system at home so i'll edit whatever i shoot and i took 18 months to do that and suddenly you're all today here because you've seen that film so you have to let that magic happen and and sometimes it will not for every lucia that worked there are probably 500 lucias that didn't work 
now it again is luck <laughs> and fate as to will you be the one who works or will you be the 499 which didn't work so it's it is that i was lucky to to be in the right place right time and everything okay someone else hi this is hello yeah i'll go to tharas patil that's the first thing yeah. go ahead sir how to write a screen plan where to register it sir swa.org screenwriters association.org i think so you can just search and what and the process no, to no, turn it's all there it's all simple those... you become a member and then it's all online so you can look into it and go ahead and do it there thank you sir thank you anyone else hello hi it's murli hi uh yeah i will uh, pick murli valmiki yeah yeah sir uh, yes. uh, this day industry is fully crowded with new film makers and new films mm -hmm. and do independent films or crowd funded films work this days can be and uh, work agata now madre um i think it's uh, it's completely dependent on how relevant you are to relevant agidira you madiro content your audience ge talpatta anta there are many small films which have come which are uh, making you know one this jana friends heltare oh achana gide nodu anta in yaro so it is it is nimma as a storyteller you have to do what comes to you genuinely and if you have the uh, luxury to do it uh, and the blessing to do it so adella idre what's the basic amount and minimum budget test irbeku independent cinema and there is nothing called like that tagobekanta there is there is nothing called as a minimum budget there is nothing called as adu ellanu wait it's really how good you are in communicating something nimage hege nimmalli eshtu ond storytelling capability ide adar mel depend agutte neevu ivattina nimde en camera i mean thumba interesting ideas idiyalla i mean uh, uh, see you soon malayalam alli athwa i mean english alli innond cinema bandita if i original uh, idea inda adrella nanu nodidre they've just created the whole story to happen on a on a idu on a monitor ಅಥವಾ ಈಗ ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ಚಿಂಗ್ ಯಾ ವಿಜಯ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಥೆನ ಹೌ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ಲಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಆನ್ ಅ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಮತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಜರ್ನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾನೇನು ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಒಂದು ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅದು ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಇದೇ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಗೋ ಸೊ ಆ ನಾಟಕ ನಾನು ಬರೆದಾಗ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಏನು ದುಡ್ಡು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಡಿಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಟು ಸೇ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡು ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಒಂದು ನಾಟಕ ಬರೆದು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಆ ಹುಚ್ಚಿತ್ತು ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬರು ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ರಾಮ್ ಅನ್ಸತ್ತೆ ಯಾರೋ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಹೇಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಜೊತೆ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಕೊಲಾಬ್ರೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ನನಗೂ ಆ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಅ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೋ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಶೋ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾನು ಒಬ್ಬನೇ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಾನು ನಾನೇ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದು ನಾನೇ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾನೇ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಅದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಕ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಸೆಟ್ ಹಾಕಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟೇಜಿಗೆ ಒಂಚೂರು ದುಡ್ಡು ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ರೂಮಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಚೇರ್ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಆ ಚೇರ್ನ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಹೇಗೆ ನಾಟಕ ಬರೀಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಸೊ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಬಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರ್ಯಾದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓಪನ್ ಅಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಪುಷ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಟು ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ Okay, uh, we have like 10 more minutes. Hi, Pavan. I will go for Kaushik S. Hi, Pavan. Everybody else move. Yeah, Kaushik S. Yeah, hi, Pavan. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry, uh, Kaushik, just unmute and speak again. Yeah. Uh, is it on a question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. So, uh, okay. Okay. ಮೈ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ತುಂಬಾ ದಿಸ್ಟಿಂದ ಒಂದೇ ಕಥೆ ಮೇಲೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಜಡ್ಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಆತರ ಏನನ ಫೀಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನನ ಟಿಪ್ಸ್ ಇಗ್ಬೋದು ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ನನಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ 
and for example uh, dhumam was a script uh, which was written long back uh, but like i said every two years athwa lucy admel matte open madide inneno changes madide admele u turn admel matte open madide inneno changes madide so it kept growing with me hosa hosa inneno barak shuru aitu instagram adella avag irlilla amel ig matte hosda geno barebekandre i thought i could add all those things so even this play for example ig monne madiddu ashte ivattu hodvara vara madiddu show gu 21 varshinde madiddu show gu thumba vyathyasa ide ಸೊ ಒಂದೊಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಅದು ಅದನ್ನ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರು ಯಾರೋ ಬೇರೆ ಸಿನಿಮಾನಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ವೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅನಿಸ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಫಿಸಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸರ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ನೂ ಬೇರೆ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೂ ವಯಸ್ಸು ಆಗ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಲೈಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ಸು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲನೂ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಹತ್ತು ವರ್ಷದ ಹಿಂದೆ ಬರೆದಿದ್ದು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ನನ್ನ ಲೈಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ಗೆ ದೇ ಮೇ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಅಮೆಚೂರಿಶ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಲಿ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇವತ್ತು ಅದನ್ನು ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಇದರ ಐ ಇಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಐ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಸಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಗುಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ಇದೇ ಫೀಲ್ಡಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾರೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ದೇ ಮೈ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಏ ಅದಿನ್ನೂ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸರ್ ನಾನು ಇವಾಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದೀನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಿದೀನಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಒಂದ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾ ಇದೆ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಇದೆ ಎಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಅದೊಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಏನೋ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ತರದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮಾಡಿ ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋದಾಗ ಏಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋದೆ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಇದ್ದು ಈ ಅದೊಂದು ಲಕ್ಸುರಿ ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋದಾಗ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಅಂತ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅವರು ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೋ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಡಿಸಿಲ್ಯೂಷನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಇವಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಏನ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನನ್ನ ವಿಷನ್ ನ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸ್ ಮಾಡದೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ನನ್ನ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಗೆ ಎಂಟರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಐ ನೋ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ಡು ಐ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಮೈಸಿಂಗ್ so i tell you uh, i will answer your uh, question by telling you how it happened for me okay so nanu uh, um, theater madko bandaga luckily my career took off because i was facing an audience and on the theater group madkondide and uh, ticket sale madta idvi and we used to take like on the live audience in a criticism na face madidde nanu amel mumbai ge hodaga ill madadanta natakagal yon madidane anodik alli eno bere kelsa sikthu so i kept growing in my work ಸೊ ಒಂಥರ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಅನಿಸಿದ್ದು ಹೇ ಈಗ ನೀವೇನು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತಿದ್ರೆ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಪ್ಯಾರ್ಲೆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೈ ಥಿಯೇಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಅನಿಸಿದ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ನಾನು ಬರೀತಿರೋಂಥ ಕಥೆಗಳು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಥಿಯೇಟ್ರಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಿರುವಂಥ ದುಡ್ಡು ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಕರಿಯರ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಅಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿನಿಮಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಏ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಡೂ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಲ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಿನಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಮೂರು ಸಿನಿಮಾ ನೋಡೋದು ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ವರ್ಕ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ನೋಡೋದು ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ನೋಡೋದು ಸೊ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಝೋನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್
I was just telling, hey, I have done eight years of work. I told him I quit college. I did this. I went to Mumbai. So he started laughing. What he saw was, okay, this guy is crazy enough to have spent so many years doing this. So then he said, okay, let's let's keep talking. So I met him, you know, on a Monday. Then I would go back on a Tuesday. There was nothing, no money discussed, nothing. They would give me lunch. But I am talking to him like a friend. I am talking to, and he is respecting me as someone who's done faced an audience who's done plays who's sold tickets who's faced an audience who's gone to mumbai done something so if you see all this credibility adds now in today's time sir are they either either i'll come uh, to you nihal sometimes may. sometimes uh, like i said uh, you your video will land up in a person with whom your ideas will resonate and he okay. will contact you back <laughs> uh but have to be there it's not going to happen in one year it's not going to happen in six months sometimes it may happen in a week's time so for example I... again to finish it off uh... I'll, i'll i'll have to mute you because i'll have to finish this uh because of i think people are also understanding you just i met a music director not not like purna's example and another guy's example purna sent me uh, purna chandra who does music for the last 10 years for me he sent me a small 45 second clip about lucia which he just composed and sent it to me by email but it got me excited so much that i contacted him back and i and he had never done music for films he was not he was working in it uh, in some company so he left that company and became a music director and then went on to you know he's now an established music director so that one piece of music had to come to me by email on that very day for it to happen and similarly for utan another guy sent i heard it i told him because i like this process of finding somebody who's you know doing something at their home and and i told him many times and he kept sending me but later it didn't resonate the same way it didn't seem interesting for me or it didn't seem good enough to work for what i was doing so i did not work with him but maybe he went on and did other films i i don't know but what i'm saying is you your work has to fall in the right hands with whom your thoughts will resonate for that you'll have to just be around like i never knew a yograj but will resonate with me or i will resonate or he didn't know i will because i come from english theater and he's got a great control on kannada i don't speak kannada the way he speaks and i learned so much from him and and that 3 4 months of just sitting and chatting up with him made me realize that hey, i have to spend years trying to learn from him so i spent 3 years not making film not doing any theater but just being there and learning so you have to give time and don't assume something will happen in little time and while that was happening i used to still do corporate films because he also couldn't pay me a great salary because he's also trying to mount his some project and you all whoever has been in the industry will know that money at that level is really low like very low probably in it some guy serving coffee cleaning the toilets will be earning more money than you will be earning so you have to find different ways of making your money i used to do corporate films i used to take a, i used to tell him listen i need two days off i'm going to come back on monday i'll go edit some corporate film make some 15 20000 rupees from that and then go spend a month with him so you need to be able to do this which means my last advice for today is that you need to develop many skills so i knew how to do editing i knew how to write for something i i have done i have done some little gig for airtel in malls for two days here and in hyderabad because that was paying me some money so you have to just put yourself out there be available to get money from somewhere and then invest your other time in learning from something else and if you put in so much time and if you are lucky universe will give you that some day so overall my closing statement i can't take any more questions because i think the session is going to shut off in a in a minute uh i'll keep doing this i'll probably once in 15 days sometime when i have time like this i'll keep doing this and you guys can join in again and um, we will see what knowledge exchange can happen but otherwise good luck to you all and i hope uh, i hope this helped and uh, that's it and um, see you all or some of you again uh, next time see you then bye thank you thank you and and have a great night good night Thanks. Good night. Thank you, sir.